Welcome back to Myth Badger Videos. As we expand on our vector.com skills, it's time to explore the pen and pencil tools. They're located here in the toolbar, and there's some useful tools to understand how to use, but there are some nuances that we want to look at. We've already examined how to use geometric shapes, and when we combine these shapes, what we can do is we can select our tools to kind of make more complex and interesting designs. However, sometimes, we're a little limited by using the defined shapes, and we need the ability to make our own shapes. And that's where these tools come into play. Let's explore the pencil tool first, because that's the easiest one to explain. The pencil tool is really simple. It just follows your mouse cursor wherever you draw. So all you have to do is just draw the shape that you want, and you're done. This is useful in the sense that a freehand drawing, you can define it exactly the way you want, and you don't have to sit there and use the other tools to kind of mold and shape your design. However, it's also limited. It's limited by your skill with using a mouse. If you have a touchscreen device and can use a stylus, I'm sure some experienced artists could actually do some really great work on this, but you're going to have to practice if you're using a mouse. I'm going to go ahead and make a shape here. I'm going to use the pencil tool, and I'm just going to try to kind of make a leaf structure. Okay, and you'll notice there that I didn't end up in exactly the same spot. One other issue that I've noticed with using this tool is that sometimes it can be a little hard to connect, um, or at least it is for me, and maybe it's how I'm drawing, I don't know, but <clears throat> we can still fix this. If I double click on this, you will notice that it comes up with a bunch of dots, and these dots are kind of control points that I can adjust in order to maybe adjust the shape a little bit. And I'm just going to take this one up and combine them. Now, it's important that we understand what those control points are. You'll notice that as we look at this edge, it's not very rounded. It's actually a combination of shorter line segments. And if I double click, you'll see they correspond to those control points. When drawing with the pencil tool, it's basically drawing a bunch of tiny little line segments following your cursor. And because of that, it's going to take a lot of work in order to smooth out every single one of those jagged edges. So that is a limitation with using the pencil tool. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line here in the center because, well, I'm drawing a leaf and a lot of leaves kind of have a line down the center of their leaf. So that's the pencil tool. Let's go ahead and examine the pen tool. And for the pen tool, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to try and draw another leaf, but this time I'm going to use a different tool. Now the pen tool works in a different way. It works off of something known as Bezier curves. Now Bezier curves is based on math in which we're trying to make smooth curves. It's actually a popular tool in computer graphics. For example, animators will use Bezier curves in order to model a smooth motion for an animated figure. So they're a very valuable tool within graphic design. However, it again, just like freehand drawing with the pencil tool, it does take some practice to get used to them. They're not too complex, and a little trial and error will show what we're doing. I'm going to make another leaf here and do this with my pen tool. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw kind of a diamond shape here and connect it back, and there's my shape. Now, just like before, I'm, uh, with the pencil tool, I'm going to double click, and when I double click, you'll notice that there's actually a pair of dots at each of the corners where I clicked. One of the dots allows me to control the position of that point on my shape. So wherever I clicked, the dot that's on the line allows me to adjust that. The second dot, however, is where the curve comes into the term. So with our Bezier curves, this dot is a curvature dot that controls the curve of this point. And if I click on this and drag, you'll see that depending on how I drag, I can make that into a smooth curve. So I'm going to kind of bring that over here a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but not as much. I'm going to bring the bottom up. So I kind of want a bottom curve here. And I'm not going to mess with the top because I do want that pointed structure here. But you'll see it's not really an awesome looking leaf. So I'm going to add more control points. You'll notice when I bring my mouse cursor along the edge, it gives me a spot to create a point. And I can do that at a couple different spots. I'm going to do another one here. 
and maybe one over here because I want to round it out. Now, each one, of, and somehow I made two, so I'm going to click on one and delete, and there we go. Now with this, what I want to do is I want to double click on it once and you see it as this control point. And this allows me to twist. There's actually two on either side. Or if I click on it, double click on it, it gives me this one, which is more like what we've already seen. And for some reason, I seem to be, yep, it's, I accidentally got rid of this control point. So let's bring this out and curve that a little bit better. And then let's go ahead and bring this out and get that curve in there and I'm gonna go ahead and bring this out and I'm gonna curve so we're kinda of getting more of that rounded edge here I'm gonna take this dot and I wanna bring it down like this and we see now I'm starting to get that edge here and let's do one more dot and I, I made somehow I accidentally brought a control point over I didn't mean to do that Let's get rid of that. Let's add that control point that I had here. And let's kind of fix this because it's a little jagged. There we go. Uh, I think I can do a little bit better. So let's, let's get rid of those control points there. I might have messed up on that one. Let's, let's just kind of leave it. There we go. We'll kind of leave it like that. That seems to kind of get the point across for what I want to do. And I'm going to go ahead and use the pencil tool. And I'm going to draw that line just like I did before. And for some reason, this control... There we go. Let's fix that. That gave me an extra line there, and I don't know why. Okay, so here we go. And it's not as good. I kind of messed it up a little bit. I think I probably could have done that better, but what I did is I got the point across. We can kind of see the differences now, and if I zoom in on this one, you'll see that my curve here is much smoother. Uh, it doesn't have that kind of jagged appearance because it doesn't have as many control points. It's, it's drawn in a different way, and using that mathematical formula for Bezier curves, it's made it a smoother curve. In fact, the line that I've drawn here actually now doesn't really look very good because it's not kind of hitting what I want. So let's go ahead and, and we're going to do a Bezier curve here. We'll do the pin tool and there we go. I kind of add a, more of a smooth curve there. And if I zoom out, we'll see there's a, quite a bit of a difference here between the two leaves that I've drawn here. So that is an example of how the pen and pencil tools work. You can see that there's pros and cons to both. The pencil tool uh, it doesn't always produce smooth curves, and it takes some practice if you're just using a mouse, but it draws exactly where you want it to draw. The pen tool gets you smoother motions, or it's not smoother motions, smoother lines because of the Bezier curve concept, but it also takes a little bit of work to mess with those control points in order to get the shape exactly how you want us to see. Pros and cons for both. Feel free to explore this. Try making your own leaves so you can kind of understand how they work. And thank you for watching. Feel free to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all of our content here at Myth Badger Videos.